The major head loss in a pipe is due to the inner surface roughness of the pipe. Energy must be supplied to fluid flowing in a pipe to overcome the resistance caused by this roughness. In this experiment, we will investigate the head loss due to friction in a pipe and will determine the associated friction factor over a range of flow rates. It is done by measuring the pressure difference between two fixed points in a long straight tube of circular cross section for steady flows. The range of flow rates will cover laminar, transition, and turbulent regimes. The pipe friction test apparatus consists of a test pipe, which may be fed water at high or low flow rates, and has two sets of manometers to measure the head losses in the pipe. For higher flow rates, the inlet pipe is connected directly to the bench supply. For lower flow rates, the inlet pipe is connected to the outlet at the base of the constant head tank and the inlet to the tank is connected to the bench supply. The test section of pipe is mounted vertically on the rig and is instrumented using two sets of manometers. A differential pressure gauge is used to measure large pressure differentials and a water manometer is used to measure small pressure differentials. When not in use, a manometer may be isolated using clamps. Flow through the test section can be regulated using a flow control valve. This valve should face the volumetric tank. This tube must be held above the bench collection tank to allow enough space for the insertion of the measuring cylinder. With the spirit level, adjust the feet to ensure that base plate is horizontal and hence the manometers are vertical. Attach a clamp to each of the manometers and close them off. The experiment will be performed in two parts, high flow rates and low flow rates. High flow rates will be supplied to the test section by connecting the equipment inlet pipe to the hydraulic bench. Open the test rig flow control valve fully and start the pump. Now, open the gate valve progressively and run the system until all air is purged. To do that, connect a length of small bore tubing from the air valve to the volumetric tank and open the air bleed screw. Remove the clamps from the water manometers and differential pressure gauge connections and purge any air from the air bleed screw at the top of the water manometers. Close off the water manometer connecting tubes by applying the clamps. Close the test rig flow control valve and take a zero flow reading from the pressure gauge. This may not be zero because of the pressure gauge tubes are not being fully purged. With the flow control valve fully open, measure the head loss shown by the pressure gauge. Determine the flow rate by a time volume collection. Adjust the flow control valve in a stepwise fashion to observe the pressure differences at 0.4 bar, then continue making readings by decreasing the pressure by 0.05 bar until you make the lowest reading at 0.05 bar. Close the flow control valve and turn off the pump. Attach a clamp to each of the differential pressure gauge connectors and close them off. Disconnect the test section supply tube and hold it high to keep it filled with water. Connect bench supply tube to header tank inflow, run the pump, and open bench valve to allow flow. When outflow occurs from header tank snap connector, attach test section supply tube to it, ensuring no air entrapped. When outflow occurs from the header tank overflow, fully open the control valve. Remove the clamps from the water manometer tubes and close the control valve. Connect a length of small bore tubing from the air valve to the volumetric tank. Open the air bleed screw and allow flow through the manometers to purge all air from them. Fully open the control valve. Slowly open the air bleed valve and allow air to enter until the manometer levels reach a convenient height. Then, close the air vent. With the flow control valve fully open, measure the head loss delta H shown by the manometers. Determine the flow rate by a time volume collection. Obtain data for at least eight flow rates, the lowest to give delta H equals 30 millimeters approximately. Measure the water temperature by a thermometer. Be sure to drain the equipment test section and the manometers. Clean up your station 
and any water that may have spilled. Following the lab manual, enter the test results into the raw data tables, complete the results table, and put together your lab report. If you have any questions, consult your teaching assistant or professor.